It was the 78th Breton Derby in Ligue 1 Conferama on Friday night. Ven versus Nantes at Roazan Park. And it had a lot riding on it and plenty of pot lines. One was Canaries coach Christian Gurkov, who refused to speak about his former club in the build-up, but shared a laugh with opposite number, Julien Stefan. Not aimed to do the league double over Ven, having ended a nine-match winless run against them at Le Bourgeois in September. Through the smoke, not clearly focused on closing the five-point gap between the sixth-place Canaries and their third-placed hosts. Ludovic Blas is the top scorer for Nantes with just five. He'd find Edouard Mendy in smart form. Adrien Anu top scores for Rennes with six. He went even closer, only for the post to deny him a first goal against Nantes in his eighth appearance against them. Rennes needed to dig deep after their nine-goal thriller in the week that saw them come through a Coupe de France victory after 120 minutes against Angers. Nantes focused on a first win at Roazan Park in seven years. And the Canaries were on course inside two minutes of the restart. Edouard Camavinga playing off his captain, Damien Da Silva. Mola Wagge taking the applause. He was certainly the initial catalyst but it was the home side who made their own problems. Da Silva with five own goals, the most of any Liga Conferama player in the 21st century. But the home side have gained 14 points after conceding first this season, better than all the rest. And Bei Niang with a double against Angers last Tuesday, finding Alban Lafont reacting well. But soon enough, he had a chance from the penalty spot. The Senegalese surely fouled by René Kiren. Referee Benoit Milo checking with VAR before confirming the spot kick. Niang scored against Sko in midweek. His penalty was saved here, but Rafinha was on hand to net the rebound. Well, Lafont has faced 20 penalties in Liga Conferama and saved just two. This was his third, but that won't be much consolation as the Brazilian scored a first league goal of 2020. Edouard Mendy then made a big save from Kader Bamba, plucked from obscurity from Le Mans in the fourth tier. 25-year-old unable to net his first top flight goal for Ludwig Blas and a poor effort at the rebound. And as Rennes pushed for the winner, they were left short at the back. Imran Luza finding Moses Simon, a brilliant first touch from the Nigerian, and then a slice of luck to net the 24-year-old's third goal the previous two times, Nantes have gone on to win the match. And now, of course, to do the league double over again for the first time since the 2003-04 season. But the new loan signing, Steven Nzonze, looking on from the stands, and he saw an incredible conclusion. Substitute Benjamin Bourgeot with his first of the season. Jan Gabo doing the magic on the wing, and then just side-footed past a stranded statue like Lafon. If that hurt for Nantes, the conclusion broke their hearts. Nian worked the space, his shot saved, and just as with the penalty, Rafinha scoring as many goals that evening as before kickoff. Although initially tempered celebrations until VAR confirmed, Julian Stefan reveling in the moment. Rafinha's fourth of the season, would have brought the roof off Roazan Park if there was one. It started with the Senegalese international Niang. And once again, finished at the feet of Rafinha. 40 points after 22 games. A Rennes record if three points for a win is counted. Not devastated as Les Rouges et Noirs consolidated third with an eight-point cushion over their bitter rivals.